Hello everybody, and welcome to Scale of the Universe 2. This is not really a game, but more of a type of perspective based game that shows you how small and insignificant you are compared to some of the things in the universe. Us, the human being. Eh, well, I shouldn't move my mouse. Height, 1.7 meters. I'm going to assume you are a human. I am a human too. Did you know that, that there are over 7 billion of us? That's a lot. In fact, if you met each person for one second, you would be about 32 years old to meet all of them. To meet all of them. Better get started now. No, thank you. And I don't know why they have a dodo bird here, but they just do. The dodo bird went extinct sometime around the 1600s. Really? I, I thought they were... No, that can't be right. Or should I say, use some... Hmm, that's weird. Okay, so... Jesus Christ, a giant earthworm. Look at this thing, it's huge. Three... Three meters. That thing is huge. But then you got something like this, a Japanese spider crab. Those things are fucking gigantic. Those things scare the crap out of me. But let's go the other way. You got a basketball here. And a basketball, yeah, about 24 centimeters. That's about right. What's this? Largest hailstone. Jesus Christ, 20 centimeters. Imagine that hitting you in the head. Approximate size of this viewpoint. Th this viewport. Although different monitors have different pixel sizes. Really? Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. And then you got a little hummingbird here. Look at the little guy. He's maybe 10 centimeters. Chicken eggs smaller, I guess. 5.5 centimeters. The common worm. Man, that, that little common worm compared to that huge, huge, huge earthworm. Microwave length. Okay, that's actually pretty big. One centimeter is one microwave length. That's actually pretty big, because then you got the marble right here, which is 1.5 centimeters. I mean, I never really thought about that. And then you got yourself a sunflower seed, and that is bullshit. Have you seen some of the sunflower seeds people make nowadays? They are fucking gigantic. They are definitely bigger than this. Definitely bigger than a grain of rice. But Jesus, they're, they're huge. Sleet. Sleets is only five millimeters, huh? Which falls from the sky and it makes ice pellets. Yeah, I can see that. What's this? Duckweed. That's that little shit that floats in the water, isn't it? Then you got an ant. Four millimeters. What's that? Largest bacteria. So I, my guess would be that is probably... Wow, that is... That's pretty big for a... That's pretty big for a bacteria. Grain of sand. It's bigger than the grain of sand. That's crazy. LCD pixel. Now this I knew. 300 micrometers. Yeah, that's about right. The biggest bacteria is bigger than an LCD pixel? Dude, that is creepy. That means you can see it with your naked eye. That's not cool. What's this? Grain of salt? That you can see? Yeah. Width of human hair. Really? Interesting. 100 micrometers. Human egg. A human egg is bigger than a width of, hu of a human hair? 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 Smallest thing visible to the human eye. Yeah, I can see that. But I know some people that can actually see skin cells. 35 micrometers. And what's the smallest thing say is? 100 micrometers. And what about a skin particle? 50. That's weird. Mist droplet. Yeah, I can see that. White blood cell, 10, 10 micrometers. Then you're getting down to the red blood cell, which is 7 micrometers. Holy crap. E. coli, 2 micrometers. Wow. Then let's go all the way down here. Largest virus. That's huge for a virus. That is freaking big. It's about the same size as a, as a violet wavelength. That's crazy. So let's go down here, what's this? HIV, the one thing you never ever ever want to get? What's this? 
Transistor gate? Really? Wow, that is... That is amazing. That's in our computer right now, and it's smaller. It's smaller than a disease, the HIV virus. And we still can't cure that motherfucker. Are you serious? But, oh my god, just think about that. That's man-made. I gotta back up. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, going the wrong way. That resistor... Oh, I'm not gonna do it, because it's gonna take too long. But that's... That's... That's man-made. That's crazy. You know what? Hold on. I actually do want to look at this now. DNA... Eh... I wish I, I wish I could drag this far, but it's not as good as it should be. But yeah, that transistor gate is the smallest thing ever made by humans. That's that's insane. Okay, let's go down here. See what this is. Glucose, X-ray wavelength. That shit's going through you every time you get a oh, dude. An atom? What's smaller than an atom? 500 picometers, huh? Water molecule. But isn't that... It's about the same size as an atom. Okay. What we got here? Smallest thing visible to an electron microscope. Dude, that is... That is insane. Helium atom. Hydrogen atom. Look at the size of those, they're so tiny! What we got here? Gamma ray? And those are now visible to some computers? Ooh, I can't go any smaller. Why not? Let me go smaller. Let me see what's down here. In the depths of hell. I mean, Jesus Christ, it seems like you're going into the freaking depths of hell because it just keeps going. Look at this shit. Whoa, hold up. Uranium nucleus. So my guess is, once you get past nucleus, proton, neutron. What's bigger? They're the same. Okay, never mind. God, how do we know that shit this small even exists? How far did humans have to go to learn that shit is, exists? Range of the weak, weak force. Huh? What's that? I don't know what the weak force is. Up quark, straight quark, what are these? I've never ever heard of these. This is insane. And it just keeps going. Bottom quark, high energy. That is so cool. Okay, let's get to the very end. I just want to see. Top quark. Neutrion, or whatever the hell that said. Nothing. 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 There's nothing for quite a while, honestly. Nothing. 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 I feel like something's gonna be at the end, and it's just gonna be, like, the most important thing ever. Maybe, like, dark matter at the end? Like, antimatter? Oh, that would be kinda cool. I wonder if that's even a thing. Whoa, 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 hold up. Hold up, what are these? What are these? What are those? What are those? If one of these say dark matter, I'm just gonna like... Quantum form? Or quantum form? String? Is this supposed to be like space time? Like space and time? Alright, let's start going back up. Okay, so the smallest known thing is how many how many decimal points away from when you can actually start to see it. I want to see like where the electron microscope actually is able to see it. My God, it takes a while. Like, oop, there it was. So. Smallest thing visible to an electron microscope. Everything beyond this point, this point right here, 
has never been seen by the human eye. That is crazy to think that the smallest thing visible to an electron microscope is still bigger than the hydrogen atom, the most simple atom we know, and we can't even see it. That is insane. So from the smallest thing visible to humans, you have to go a long ways. Smallest thing visible to the naked eye. That is insane. And then let's go back up to the human real quick. The LCD pixel. Wow, that is just... That's amazing. US Penny, a matchstick, hummingbird, then we're back to the human. Look at that giant earthworm. Dude, I would not want to see this fucking thing. It is way too big. Okay, so now we have a giraffe. Six meters. Tyrannosaurus Rex. I believe that's, yeah, they're about the same. Seven meters, six meters, somewhere in there. Apollo Moonlander, nine meters. Then we got this big bastard right here. I don't even know how to pronounce this, but I know it's a supriopod, and I know they're fucking big. That's bigger than a blue whale by how many meters? That's bigger by 30 meters. And this thing rocked the earth. That is in that is that is insane. Then you got a Boeing 747 at 70 meters. And then I guess you got like a football field, but you know how it goes. They got a hundred meters from the Atlantic and blah blah blah. International Space Station is about the same size as a football field. It's smaller than a football field. And people spend years on the International Space Station in a, an area less than a hundred yards and you're just living in a little tiny area the titanic i believe is about the same size as the Hu Ho hoover hoover dam i think i know that yeah it's actually taller the titanic is longer than the hoover dam is tall that is insane half dome what's that I don't know what this is. Half Dome. The largest dome that is in National Park. It is made up of granite. Really? That's bigger than the Hoover Dam? So this is a natural made... Wow. That is insane. What's this? Ah, this is Angel Falls. I know this. Wow. That is just so... And then you got Boeing's factory there, that's just monstrous. Haley's Comet is not that much bigger than Mount Everest. Wow. Mm -mm. Depth of Mariana Trench, 7 miles. Rhode Island. I see Rhode Island there. Yeah, Rhode Island's pretty big. That's amazing that just really blows my mind at how big some of this stuff is West Virginia California okay we're just naming off states here but then again look at Pluto compared to California 2,300 kilometers California 1,100 kilometers so California is about half the size of Pluto so and then the moon isn't much bigger though. 3,500. The moon could probably fit in the United... Yeah, the moon can fit in the United States. And look at how much the United States would take up of Mars. So we got 4,200 kilometers to 6,800 kilometers. Asia would engulf Mars. Oh my god, Asia wouldn't even really fit on Venus. Two, 12,700 kilometers. And that houses Asia, which is 8,000. That is, that is just amazing to me. Like, 
this is just blowing my mind. Minecraft world. Minecraft world could literally house Neptune. Neptune, Uranus. Jupiter could house... Jupiter is huge, dude. And this is... Isn't this like the biggest star we know? Not this one. You can't see it without a telescope. Oh, that's sad. Wow, look at this. They just keep getting bigger. Bigger and bigger and bigger. The sun is small compared to some of these fucking things. That is insane. Just keep going. Just keeps going and going and going. At the end, we're, we're definitely going on Polaris, really. <laughs> Even they are reaching out into the universe, I guess. Distance from Earth to Sun. Oh my god. These are bigger than the distance from the Earth to the Sun. That is fucking ridiculous. So, one of these stars could easily, easily engulf our entire galaxy. That could, oh my, that is insane. Kepler belt. Ooh, that would not be fun. A light day. Okay, so that's how far light travels in a day. Distance from Earth to Voyager 1 to Earth. Oh my god. That's amazing. I, I can't even, like, fathom this. What's this say? Distance to Comet. Oh my gosh. So, and you can still see these stars easy enough. Three of those, maybe four or five. Put those between there and you'd probably have about enough room for the Earth. Can we keep going? Distance to Sun. Wow. What's this? The Nebula? Wow. Okay, it is very selfish of us. A light year. That is amazing. We cannot say that we are the only life in the universe. It's impossible. It's 100% impossible. Look at all this. Oh, dude. And you see pictures of these? these clouds in space and they look so small and so beautiful don't they but look at how freaking big they are it just keeps going and going North American Nebula Omega Syria oh my god dude they're so big oh it's so cool Oh my god, it just keeps going. Leo 2 Gdorf Galaxy. Small magnetic cloud just keeps going. Will not stop. What's this? Is this the Milky Way? Nope, that's not even the Milky Way. The Milky Way isn't even considered very big, honestly. So now we can finally see some galaxies. Jesus. Andromeda Galaxy. Andromeda is huge compared to the Milky Way. I must have missed it. That's a weird looking galaxy. That's real? It's almost like... It's weird. Distance to Earth. From what? Distance Earth has traveled related to the sun. Oh my god. God, and there, this could easily engulf that. That could engulf it. We gotta keep going, because I am just way too interested. Holy shit. It's just incredible. Local group. So this is the cluster of galaxies that we live in. That's the cluster of galaxies that we live in oh my god and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger 
what is this? Gistons to the Great Act Attractor. So, that's from the Earth to the Black Hole at the middle of our galaxy, I believe. That, oh my god. What's that? Wait, 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 what is this? Oh god. How big is this gonna get? I, I'm just so amazed. It just keeps going. It does not stop. I mean, obviously there's an end to what we have observed so far. Observable universe. Oh my god, the estimated size of the universe. Look at that. It's so big. And that's just the estimated size. I can't imagine how big it really is. Now let's go all the way back down to human. Wow. There was a distance to the sun. There's a distance to Jupiter. Nah. Nah. That was so close. And there it is. There's us. As insignificant as we are. We're smaller than a worm. We're that insignificant that we're smaller than a worm. We're smaller than a radio wave. We're smaller than a crab, guys. An alien looking down on us could compare our us to a, a, us, a human, to a giant worm, or even a seagull with a three-span wingspan. I can't even fathom that. That is just insane. I. I know I've said that a lot throughout this video, but my god, the universe is gigantic, and we have so much to explore. It is just mind-boggling at how much we are going to miss in our lifetime. And honestly, I'm kind of sad about that. I would love, I would absolutely love to see everything that the universe I would love to see everything that our entire universe has to show us. But we just saw it. From our observable universe to our smallest electron microscope focusing point, we will never see the entire universe. Thank you all very much for watching. This has been a very eye-opening experience for me and I hope for you because I hope this doesn't make you feel insignificant at all because just one person one person had enough effect and look at this I'm not even kidding you one person has enough to effect to reach out and create something like the Minecraft world or we even had enough power and smarts to send Voyager 1 if I could even find it out further than the Sun is from our planet there it is look at how far we have reached look at that we have reached so far we have reached the same if not, okay, just a little smaller than a light goes an entire day. And scientists are getting closer and closer every day to getting us to the speed of light, if not faster. That is amazing. One day we'll be able to travel this. An entire light, at the speed of light, in one day we can travel this far. I'm so excited for our future, and I hope you guys are too. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember, no matter who you are, reach yourself out.
and become like Voyager 1. Extend to the ends of our galaxy and show that you're not insignificant. But you reach out and you can be anything you want to be. Bye-bye.